Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of CityCraft. If this is your first time here, this is a series. You should go back and check out the other episodes. I think this one's episode 11? 12? I don't remember to be honest, but there's quite a few. So you should go back. I'm going to link up uh, up here at the top, right right up here, ish, right there. Yep, we're going to link that in. Uh, go ahead and check out the rest of the series and then come back and finish this video. So... I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update first uh, with the villager breeder. So I did a little bit of research in between episodes, found out that the uh, village breeder I had built actually broke with 16, when 1.16 released. Um, but thankfully the fix is fairly simple. Uh, so the four trap doors that you had trapping the villagers in there, you lay those down flat and then fill in the corners with more trapdoors so they will spawn back onto the fence post here and then baby villagers will drop down here and eventually they'll they should walk into the water stream and go down so as you can see it's functioning again it's working which is great i uh, don't think i've got any carrots yet but at some point soon we should start getting some uh i think we actually already have a villager that made its way into here. Yep, so we've got a villager in here now. So everything's functioning right, so that's uh, that's awesome. So we're going to be able to do some more things coming up here soon. Hopefully here shortly we will be able to... Dude, they're so tiny. Uh, hopefully here shortly we'll be able to actually uh, build up our market as well as I'm wanting to do an iron farm as well. Get... Uh, some good iron going. I mean, there were already when I fixed this, there were four villagers in here, and there were three iron golems wandering around. So, this in and of itself sometimes seems to be a fairly decent uh, iron. Not decent. It could act like an iron farm. It's not great. I actually want to build a dedicated iron farm. Uh, so, one thing I kind of want to do with this series when I build farms is actually make them functional buildings. So this one, I don't plan on it being a, being a, um, a fully, what's the word I'm looking for? A permanent building. Uh, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be temporary until I can get enough villagers to actually populate everything I'm wanting to do. Uh, and then that'll go away. So while it looks nice for now, I don't know that I'm going to keep it. So it's, that's why it's not incorporated, but I'm wanting to incorporate, uh, if I do like a creeper farm, I want to make it into say like a, a watchtower or something. Um, have it actually look functional uh, within the city and not just kind of be like a very random looking odd tower kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, that's just kind of my preference for what I want to do with this. All right. So in today's episode, getting back on track, what I'm wanting to do is go into the nether. We're going to explore the nether a little bit more. I really, really would like to find a nether fortress, preferably one that's pretty close to our uh, our hub here. Uh, uh, there we go. And see if we can get some... Uh, what are they called? Not end rods. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my gosh, guys. I've totally forgotten what they're called. The... Uh, Glowing fire things that shoot fire at you. I need to finish closing that off. There is a... Do I have any... No, no, okay. There is a piglin standing there. That's why I didn't finish that part off. Um. Oh my gosh, what are they called? Beret for memory loss. Uh, fire shooters. Drop. Tiny fire rods. Alright, so anyway, let's get to exploring, see if we can find some nether fortress, see if we can find another fortress. And hopefully it won't be too bad with the fog off. Again, I feel slightly bad. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this is cheating. And if you do, then I'll turn the fog back on. But I, personally, I enjoy being able to see while the nether fog is cool and all. Ah. Uh, I'd rather see. Okay, uh, so let's get to exploring. All right, so I am thinking so we've been that way before. Been that way. We got the Delta biomes back that way. 
We've been a little bit over there. Obviously, it kind of dead ends into the lava ocean. Uh, but we really haven't explored the Soul Sand Valley too much. And as dangerous as it tends to be with skeletons and gas spawning all over the place, I kind of want to explore a little bit more of the area. Uh, get somewhere we're not as familiar with. Not go this way. Go down the staircase here, the naturally sloping hill. Okay. So. Careful not to run too fast in the nether. Guys, you get ravines like that. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to carefully make our way through the Soul Sand Valley over here. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go away. So we're going to go this way. I think this might dead end a little bit. If we can actually get some soul soil instead of soul sand, that would be great. There we go. Now we move on. Alright, so we may try to tunnel our way because it looks like this is kind of dead endish. ish um, Come back this way a little bit. Back this way for, we'll say, that little pocket I was in, right? Yeah. We'll go back this way for maybe 100 blocks and then we'll turn left and continue. See if it can come out, back out. Right. Busted back out into the Soul Sand Valley. Pocket? Like, uh, there's some exits there. Like it comes out up here too. Got another basalt deltas. Apparently. Yep, there we go. Okay, so basalt deltas. But that's not what we're looking for. So, uh, all right. Let's let's head back down and go into this opening over here. See if we can see anything a little better. Alt Delta's down there, and up. Uh, there we go, guys. We found ourselves another fortress. Oh, we'll see. Our where's that at? Three forty-five, two ninety. So our uh, another hub is about around uh, sixty thirty, sixty negative thirty. So we're a little ways away. Not terribly far though. Now I just need to find a way to get down to there. got some wither skeletons here and they're blaze there we go now I remember the word <laughs> oh shoot I can't see anything all right here there's the blaze one hit got rid of the blaze let's see if we can get rid of the wither skeletons One hit on the wooded skeleton, I swear. What? How am I on fire? Wait, take him out and get down here. Man, this has got wither skeletons all over. Oh, that's how I'm on fire. Guy sniping me from way over there. Okay. Uh, another wither skeleton. Get rid of him. So we got a blaze rod dropped. Okay, let me carefully. Alright. Okay, now 
now let's uh there must there's gotta be a blaze spawner right here. Alright, so you know what? I am gonna tunnel down real quick. Drop into here. Alright. There has to be a spawner. Where is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll get lucky and stock up with some blaze rods. I don't blaze rod that was up there. I'll have room for the blaze rods. Alright. Let's see if we can find Now we got the blaze rod. Wow. We could definitely do a uh, wither skeleton farm here. That would be pretty awesome. Alright. Alright, cool. Gather up some of these nether work. We'll make a farm for this back at the back at our base. Another another wart farm there, or another another wart room. There are so many mobs in this area. This must be like the only spot for them to spawn in. Oh lord have mercy. Holy cow guys. So I have more room. All right. So it looks like we found a dead end here. All right. Heal up a little more. Feeling I'm gonna need it. I hear so many blaze around. There has to be a spawner nearby. Has to be. If we find that, that is going to be amazing because set up a blaze farm. Get plenty of blaze rods. I want you. You're entertaining. Leave that alone for now. Let's see, is this no? And you know, I probably should have marked the way we came in, but I know how to get out. <laughs> it's all good. We haven't gone too far yet. Hole. Diamond. Don't really care about the rest. Ooh, crap. I gotta be careful if I shoot that uh, piglin or a zombified piglin, I'm gonna have a bigger problem. Oh, here's a spawner. 
There we go. Yep. Alright, so we found ourselves a spawner. Screenshot of those coordinates, we'll come back on another episode and actually... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Build a farm. <laughs> I'm gonna close this off a little bit. Any other mobs trying to attack me? There. Okay. So. Do this duck attack. Rods, do we have six? I'd like to get mm, quarter stack 16. Let's we'll say 16. 16. No, let's do let's do 32. We'll just keep this up until we get uh, 32 of them. And, uh, we'll head on out. A looting three sword would make this a lot easier, but we're at 12. We're nearly there. Just four more, hopefully. Uh, and then that's going to be my next goal, I think, for enchanting is, well, I need to get a Silk Touch Pickaxe and a Looting Three Sword. Work on that. Hopefully we get another spawn here. Out for gas now, too. Oh, and got nothing. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to change this out so I can change this track. Right. Well, nearly there. All right. Let's see if we get this last one. And there we go, number sixteen. All right. Let's see if we can get our way out of here. I've already forgotten how I got here. <laughs> oh, this is definitely not the way. There are so many blaze. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever been in another fortress with this many blaze. It is insane. I think we came from this way. Yep. Yep, we definitely came from this way. Alright. We're back on track. Okay. And then down. I know we went up quite a bit. I think we go this way. Kinda wanna take oh you yep. alright, so you know what? Run down here and then quickly pop these in. There we go. I can stay here. And take them out. Perfect. Alright. At least I've got this marked as the way the main hallway. Chest here. I'm only going to take diamond horse armor at this point. I, I can't be bothered with anything else. Pick a witch. Or another wart. That'd be nice. I really don't need this. Save me a little bit of trouble making some chests. Alright, just chest. Alright, so actually what I'm going to try to do is power up, 
connect this into our nether hub so I can easily get back here. I think, what would we make it at? One... One seventeen? and come back with ladders next time and make ladders down. All right. Here we go. Now I need to go back to our nether hub, which was at 60, 30, negative 32, I think. So I need to go back. 60 is this way, negative 32 is that way, so I need to go back that way. Alright, so I'm going to go connect this up. I'll be back in a little bit, guys. <laughs> Connected it right back to this ladder. Perfectly. Alright. Fan this out a little bit so I don't fall in. But here we go, we are back on our nether hub now. So we've got that looked up, so we've got easy access back to that fortress. And back to that place spawner. So now let's head on back. All right, we are back. Now, come over here, grab a blaze rod, drop that in like that. Grab a couple of these, cobblestone, and voila, one brewing stand. Now, temporarily, I'm going to place it over here just to kind of mark where I'm wanting to put like a apothecary brewing stand area. Um, Thinking about putting it over here, I think that would look good. Put it right there. Just gonna stay on the ground for now, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, here's the brewing stand interface. So over here is where you would put your blaze rods. Uh, once you, you'd actually have to go through and uh, put it here, and then you could get blaze powder. And then put it in, put your bottles in, and start putting your ingredients in. I'm thinking off to the side of the apothecary, I already emptied my inventory. I'm gonna put the, like a little, or maybe within the apothecary, put a uh, nether wart farm inside there. Just because you're gonna be using that quite a bit with the brewing stand. 90% uh, of the potion, 95% of the potions you'll make uh, start off with nether wart. So that's gonna be a pretty crucial ingredient to have set up. Um, but you know, I'm kind of enjoying this. Our, our city's starting to come together. I still really need to finish this building. Like, it's it's really bothering me. I need to get this top finished up. Um, our building over there is looking pretty good. And then I'm going to need to clear out those trees and actually move them to another spot to do my tree farm. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of research in between episodes. To... Uh, a little bit of research between the episodes to figure out what kind of uh what kind of uh pathway i want to have what kind of street streets do i want to put in uh, what they want to look like kind of get that finalized um i'm gonna need to do the fishing setup over here pretty soon um I go. Th I think every at the end of every episode, I have a different list of projects I want to do. I eventually just need to combine them all together and just actually order them. Uh, so yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty nice. Have a few little port buildings and things. Maybe clear out that side a little bit. Put in some uh, watchtowers. Maybe clear off that, or maybe even leave that and then put like a, a lighthouse. I think this is going to look good. Uh, I need to go through and finish connecting up this river. The river starts here, and then I've got that part connected back. I just need to connect those up. So I've got a little bit of work to do, but we're getting there, I think. Uh, it's starting to look really good. I'm liking this. I'm killing myself like that.
Right, so I think that's going to just about do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like rating and subscribe. Thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.